Hello everyone, Jolene here from Book Room Adventure Girl. Welcome back. I hope that you are all well and if you are new, thanks for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Today I am sharing the books that I hauled in February. If you've been watching some of my videos, um, at least this year, then you may already know that I am trying to read off of my shelves and not bring in as many books um, into the library as I usually do. I'm not on a book buying ban or anything like that. I'm allowing myself uh, books, but I'm trying to be more conscientious about the amount of books that I am buying compared to what I'm reading. So some of the reason is space. I am still configuring my shelves in the library to fit all of the books that I currently have. Um, and it is coming along, but there are still many books stacked against the wall uh, with no shelf home. Some of it is to watch my pocketbook a little bit. So this month isn't too bad when it comes to the pocketbook at least. Um, I spent less than $35 on books uh, just this month. So that is actually really good for me. Um, so far in February, I have finished 10 books at the time that I'm filming this, and I may finish one or two more. So if I bring in less than that, then I will consider it a success. And I'm happy to say that I hauled eight books this month. Um, while I would like that to be you know, even better, it's at least heading in the right direction. So as usual, I'm going to start uh, by telling you about the books that I received from publishers. And I have received two books this month from St. Martin's Press. And the first is a non-fiction book called Magnificent Rebel, Nancy Kennard in Jazz Age Paris by Anne de Courcy. And this is being released on April the 11th. And I love the setting, 1920s Paris. And I know nothing about Nancy Kennard. I didn't even know she existed. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to learning about her. She was an English socialite who had a number of love affairs. And this book focuses on five of the most significant, uh, which were to, with writers Ezra Pound, Aldous Huxley, Michael Arlen, Louis Aragon, and jazz pianist Henry Crowder. And then it also focuses on her lifelong friendship with Irish novelist George Moore. George Moore was her mother's lover and rumored to be Nancy's father, but he wasn't. Um, she seems to be quite an interesting woman, especially of her time. She was a crusader against racism and fascism and lived a life on the edge until her death in 1965. The next book from St. Martin's Press is Mammy by Jessica George. I believe that this is one of my most anticipated books being published in 2023, so I think I've already talked about it. And I've seen a couple of people already review this, and I think I'm really going to like it. Uh, this story follows Maddie, who is caring for her ill father. When Maddie's mother is able to come and take care of her, um, Maddie's father, Maddie takes the opportunity to finally live her own life and she begins to do all the things that she's sacrificed and then tragedy strikes. Maddie now has to face the reality of her unconventional family. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one I'm hoping soon. So the next six books are all books that have been on my radar and I'm going to start with a book that someone recommended to me quite a while ago now um, on Bookstagram. And I think it was, I think it was like two or three years ago when I decided to read more romances and I was looking for recommendations and someone mentioned Musical Chairs by Amy Popel. This is a new to me author and all I remember is that the person um, who suggested this said that it was funny, that I would love the characters, and that I would enjoy the writing. So that sounded good to me. I like all of those things. Uh, so this sounds like 
a friends to lovers trope and it has to do with music and family dynamics. So it has, like I said, many things I do enjoy and I'm looking forward to trying this author. So if you watched my video on book confessions where I shared authors that I've read one or two books but still have like several to read, then this author will be familiar to you. Um, I picked up A Single Thread by Tracy Chevalier. This has been on my radar and even though I know I have several books by Tracy Chevalier already on my shelf to read, um, some people recommended this book when uh, they saw that video and I thought, you know, why not? Um, then since I picked up one of her books, you know, when I had the opportunity, um, I thought, why not pick up another? So I did, and uh, I picked up Falling Angels by Tracy Chevalier as well. Um, so I don't know a whole lot about either of these books, really. Um, Falling Angels is about two families, and a single thread is about um, a strong female character who finds a new life after uh, the Great War. And I think that it might have a bit of a found family vibe to it. Um, I will have to see. And now I really do need to read more Tracy Chevalier since I have even more of her books now. Um, another author that I mentioned in that same video was Joyce Carol Oates. And um, I picked up another book by her uh, because it was like, I think it was only like $3. So I couldn't resist. And this is My Life as a Rat. So it's an interesting title. And the premise of this story is so intriguing to me. It is about a woman named Violet who looks back on her life. She has been estranged from her family because at the age of 12, she testified about what she knew about the murder of an African American boy um, by her older brothers. Uh, they were involved somehow. So I think that this will be a very interesting read. The next book I picked up because I already talked about The Sun Does Shine by Anthony Ray Hinton. Um, I read that last month and it tells of his story and how he spent 30 years on death row for a crime that he didn't commit. Um, and I wanted to read Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson, which is another perspective of that story from Brian's point of view who was one of Hinton's lawyers. Now I've seen the movie for this and it was phenomenal and the story is just incredible. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to this one as well. The final book that I hauled uh, this month is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. This has been on my radar ever since it came out. Um, it's a, a story about a Colombian family who seeks refuge in the US and then they need to make decisions that um, could basically have them deported. So I think that this is going to be a tough read in some ways, uh, but I think that it's you know something that people are still experiencing and that we still don't have a good grasp on what people are willing to do and that they're willing to sacrifice for their family's safety. So those are the eight books that I hauled in February. Please let me know if you have read any of these or if you are interested in reading any of them. Um, I'd be happy to hear your thoughts on all of the books. Um, have you hauled any books in February that you are excited to read and to get to? I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure. Thank you.